Hey guys, it's me, Patty Rain here. I'm coming to talk to you. Oops, I want to tell you guys all about my birthday, which is still going on. So, mm -mm. so my birthday was yesterday, as you guys know, on June 18th. Um, and I will be doing a video for the birthday of the channel because that was a disaster too, which was on June 17th. Um, so yesterday. I was supposed to be up at 8.30 because me and Daddy both had to work at 9. So usually when we both have to work at 9, Mommy picks Daddy up between 8.20 and 8.30, takes him to work and gets back at her normal time to pick me up, which is 8.50. Because Daddy works like 15, 20 minutes away from the house. I only work 5 minutes from the house. 10 if we get stuck in the school zone. Or they're doing construction. So, in construction. So, anyways. Sorry. So, Daddy wakes me up at 8.15. She's, he's like, you need to get ready, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I don't get up till, like, 8.20. I didn't have to be up till 8.30. I'm getting ready. You know, I'm half-dressed. I just have to put on, by the time Mommy gets here at, like, Mommy doesn't show up till 8.41 to pick Daddy up, right? She goes, okay, I finished getting ready in the car. I'm like, yeah, no. Because I still had to get my skirt on. I had, like, I had gotten my socks on, my shoes on, my underwear, my shorts that I wear under my skirt. I had to change my shirt because none of my shirts were working. Because none of the bra, because the bra I usually wear with that shirt, I couldn't find. It might probably in the laundry. Which is fun because I'm almost out of underwear. And we're still waiting to do laundry. So, anyways, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I'm still trying to get ready, right? I had to get my sweater on because it was... Because it was literally in the 40s. Okay. In the 40s. In the morning. By the end of the night, it was 80. But I... So, I'm like, no, you can wait. And then, so, I get ready. At like 8.45, I'm in the bathroom. 8.45, 8.48, I'm in the bath. I'm starting to do my hair. And Daddy's niece gets up and she's like, I need to go to the bathroom. Okay, so I have to wait 10 minutes for her. So I don't get outside till 8.55. Mommy doesn't show up till 9.55. Now granted, the day before, on June 17th, Mommy had had a really bad accident with a trampoline and cracked her shin. So, Mommy was gimpy and extra slow. So, she's like, I flip out on her. I'm like, dude, I was supposed to be to work five minutes ago. Well, one, no one said anything to me because it was my birthday. Two, we didn't have a ton of kids. So, no one said anything to me. Because we didn't start getting kids to like, after the fact. And... Three, I don't even think she actually realized it was like 8.15 or 9.15 by the time I actually got there. Because normally, I'm there between 9.02 and 9.10 at the absolute latest. Once in a while, I'm there at like 8.45, 8, like 8.55, something crazy like that. So anyways, so we're like, okay. So, we stop. She's like, I was at the gas station trying to find your Red Bull because it's your birthday. Because I started drinking the Dragon Fruit Red Bull. She, okay, she, since you're late anyways, we're going to stop at Daddy's mom's work. She works at Speedway, which is on the way to our work. On the way to my work. Let's see if they have it. So, she gimps and whatever. We go. She, They have it. We get to work. So, as soon as I get in the room... So, my one coworker must have seen, because she's friends with me on Facebook, because I have three coworkers, or four coworkers that I'm friends with on Facebook. I have the girl that used to be the lead with me, or used to be the co-lead with me, when we were open the first time. The cousin of my old director, who works at the daycare now. The new girl that started working, she's one of the preschool teachers. And that's it. Oh, uh, and then the one girl who closes one or two days a week. 
so, anyways. So she's like, yeah. So she must have seen it was my birthday or remembered that I had said, because I had been talking about my birthday or whatever. I must have remembered that I had said something about my birthday. Right? So, of course, when I get into the daycare, there, I go, because I usually go in the morning, I set my stuff down in preschool, make my breakfast, and then do whatever I'm, and then usually sit in preschool, eat my breakfast, and then do whatever I'm supposed to do. So, they're literally screaming at me, happy, they had all the kids scream happy birthday to me, and do the, hey shorty, it's your birthday, we're gonna party like it's your birthday, song, whatever, because my one coworker is a complete nutcase, which he's actually my director's girlfriend, my director's niece's wife. Oh, this is cute. Look, Dad. Sorry, random tangent. I just got this new travel size. Look at how cute and little it is. It's travel size. Travel size razor from the Dollar Tree. I like this. Um, so yeah, he is actually my director's niece's boyfriend. The niece works there, sometimes she helps clothes after work. She works at a bakery. And then her mom works in the baby room. So, we, um, what did we do? So yeah, so... That was good. Then I went in the baby room and my baby was up. So the one little girl in preschool has four, has one half sibling and four full siblings, right? She's got two older brothers, an older sister, and then her baby sister, who's her half sister. And oh my goodness. She's the cutest little baby ever. She's three months old now. Oh, she is such a cute baby. Whoa, this is a dark blue. Okay, this looks black. It's supposed to be midnight blue. Um, she is the cutest baby ever, I swear to Bob. I love her to death. So I went and got my baby cuddles. I worked. My one coworker must have said happy birthday to me every time she saw me. Like, at least five or six times. Like, everyone, like, they all said happy birthday to me. I ended up getting out of work because it was my birthday. The one coworker that said happy birthday to me, like, 15 times. Usually, she gets to leave early because she pretty much just comes in, covers breaks, and then helps do the end of the night cleaning. She'll mop the hallway. Um, depending on who's closing, she'll close out one or two of the classrooms so that she's, so that, like, you know, people that have been here all day don't have to close classrooms and they can leave as soon as we drop. And that the people that are closing don't get stuck closing half a dozen classrooms and whatever. So, she ended up, so, my director was like, okay, you can go. Or, she's like, yeah, you can stay today, and I can go, because it was just her and the new girl outside. Mm. So, I got out at, like, 4, I got out a, a little after 4, and Mommy didn't come to get me till 4.30, so I dropped her off. Mommy's like, yeah, I'm breaking up with my boyfriend, blah, 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 telling me the whole story. She's like, but I'm scared to do it because she had her her youngest this weekend, which was perfect because today they had a party. Her mom and her stepmom had a party for her. Like she's super weird. Like sometimes she'll call her stepmom Amanda. Sometimes she'll call her like sometimes she'll refer to her as her stepmom. Sometimes like when they help her out and stuff, they'll refer to her as her mom's. Or her mom, or whatever. Like, I don't know. It's weird, but whatever. So, 
she so she had him and then she was on like because usually most weekends she'll have her son you know her older son lives upstairs because like how does mommy and her now ex-boyfriend lived in the basement and my mommy was paying two hundred dollars a month to live in the basement plus just to pay her phone bill plus she buys her own food and then all the stuff for her animals and whatever so mommy was living downstairs so and then upstairs is her mom her little brother her stepmom her stepbrother who she sometimes refers to as her little brother and her oldest son because her mom has custody of her oldest son and then her older brother who i can't stand anymore um was possibly moving back in but i don't know if that's actually going to be a thing So, anyways. So, yeah. So, I dropped her off. I went to Dollar Tree to get some stuff. I was supposed to be just getting a blanket for Mommy for her baby. They didn't have the blanket. Whatever. They had a couple other... I ended up getting some other stuff. Ended up getting him socks and a couple of... Getting some other stuff and whatever. So... Then I go pick up Daddy. Daddy has to run to the bank for work. So, we do that. And then we go sit and wait at the restaurant. My mom complained. She said, you better not be late, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, it's probably going to be like 645. Because I was planning on getting out at 6. And if I'd gotten out at 6. Or even if I'd gotten out at 530, she would have picked Daddy up first. Then she would have brought me. And then she would have come and picked me up. And then it would have been almost 6 o'clock by the time she picked me up. Because Daddy wasn't even out on time. It would have been like 6 o'clock. And then she would have dropped mommy off. Or then we would have dropped mommy off. Which would have been almost 6.30. So by the time we got over the restaurant, it would have been almost 6.45. Because we had planned for 6.30. My mom's like, no, let's do 6. I'm like, I can't do 6. Because if I have to close, I may not get out till 6. So that doesn't work. She's like, okay. So we did 6.30. Well, we got there a little after 6. We sat in the car till 6.30. We, or till like 6.28. We went in. And I texted. I finally was able to get a hold of my mom. Because mom was at her farm. And at her farm, she gets no service. So I finally get a hold of my mom. And my mom's like, yeah, he's here. He's seated. They're already sitting. Asked, uh, so we walk around the restaurant. Can't, like. I'm like, we don't see him. So my mom's like, okay. Well, oh yeah, because we were going to dinner. I didn't tell you guys this, but we went to dinner with my mom's boyfriend and one of his sons. It was me, daddy, my mom's boyfriend, and one of his sons. I think it was his oldest. So anyways, so we went, whatever. So I was freaking annoyed. So we so we asked the wage the the hostess and she said, Yeah, you can walk around and look. They were nowhere. The one lady was trying to help me. She said, Oh, she got she said I was looking for this one party and I'm like, No, I'm like looking for just two people. She said, okay, she said, there's a couple over here and I'm like, No, I'm like it's a man and his son. She's like, Yeah, she's like, I don't think they're here. So I'm like, Mom, I'm like I'm like, we just walked around the whole restaurant. Can't find them. My mom's like, okay. They're standing outside. They're outside waiting for you. I'm like, oh. I'm waiting for you to go in. I'm like, we're inside. So she's like, okay. So I'm like, okay. But I didn't, when we were, when we were outside, I didn't see anybody outside except for a lady and a kid. So I'm like, okay, at this point, I'm annoyed. Because this is going to be an awkward dinner already. I was hungry. I was tired. I didn't want to deal with life. So, 
she texts me again. She's like, yeah, she's like, apparently they'll be there in 10 minutes. They're not even there yet. She's like, thanks, Mom. So we get there. So they finally get there. He introduces me to his son, who goes by the nickname Beefy, whatever. I introduce my boyfriend, blah, 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 blah. Even though we had reservations, we still had to wait, like, 15 minutes for our table, which was obnoxious. Probably because he was late. I don't really know. So, they're like, oh, you know, so my mom had told him I wanted my favorite flowers, rainbow roses, right? They're, they're not cheap. Wegmans is the only place around here that sells them that I know of. They're for, they're $14 for half a dozen roses. I used to buy them for mommy all the time. Then mommy told me to stop buying her those and buy her the forever roses that are in like the um water dome things. So I started doing that. Um so he gave me those. Then he asked the waiter if he could have a vase for them. So we use a pitcher, the only water pitcher they had in the whole place. We went to Red Lobster for dinner. I don't think they said that. Well, he used that for the flowers. He set them on the table. Then he got a red velvet cake from I don't even know where. Had them sing to me the whole nine yards. knowing, And I know, my mom knows I hate when they do that embarrassing so i i was gonna strangle my mom for that one and then they had to do it twice because there's because he wasn't recording and he wasn't recording the second time either and then like we ate dinner or whatever it was good he ended up giving me this as my gift which i gotta find my steel wool so i can clean up and then we came home, or no, then we had to run to Daddy's work to pick up his headphones. And run to the gas station for his brother. And then, that was the end of that. And then today, for my birthday, if you guys watched my last two videos, you will have seen Daddy got me my life-size Rapunzel, finally. So that's what daddy did for me for my birthday. Then tomorrow, my dad was supposed to be out of town this week, but he wasn't. So tomorrow for Father's Day slash my birthday, we're going to my favorite hibachi place. We're going to see Quiet Place 2. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to go and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.